capital is where we co-fund in terms of investment, we look to a coordinator body, we run through competitive processes, very much like, like technology strategy board kind of thing, and where we emerge with a number of either proof of concept or prototype stages. So SME ideas brought forward and then we fund in terms of development. Um, we then look at an option for those, the people who have instigated the idea, whether that's a commissioner, major city council as a customer, to then take that up commercially. But actually the IP share, the bulk of the IP stays with the SME. So we're not looking at commercial model like the BBC where traditionally they would have taken the vast majority, if not all, of the IP linked to companies in their supply chains. And we take a stake as well, or we look at revenue share deals as, as, a, as applicable. Um, I suppose what I came here today with was a bit of a wish list, really. Um, we've done some low-hanging fruit selection. So we've got a number of different organisations already in place. We've got a three-year delivery programme. Um, so we're always looking for new opportunities. And, and, and indeed today I've made two or three more that I think would be interesting to take us forward. We're also looking at small companies who are willing to put some resource themselves into these, but to share the development costs linked to some of these major large market opportunities as well. So we recognise that you know, not all small companies have got either the resource, the finances, the people to be able to invest in this sort of new product development either. And I suppose broadly we're looking at co-investment models as well. So I'm very interested in talking to other organisations, whether they're public or private, about co-investment routes to achieve this broader end in mind. Um, we talk, we, we sort of deliver through a number of different channels, if you like, routes to market, and again we're always looking to broaden those and, and look to extend the reach as much as we can. And last but not least, we're involved in a number of international consortia. So we're part of something called the European uh, Creative Industries Alliance, we're involved in two or three different um, framework programs across Europe as well to looking at sharing these sort of models and look at how we can catalyse. I think the biggest thing for me is trying to leverage that public sector investment into things like government services, citizen-based services and that whole government ecosystem that has to be funded all the time to serve us, to serve our children, to serve the elderly population and try and leverage some of that investment into the creative industries. I think that offers the biggest opportunity. So we're not going with a sort of begging bowl to government in terms of the creative industries is, a, is an industry that needs to be supported and should be supported. But it's actually a way of developing much, much more sophisticated, much better government services. But on the back of that, supporting the creative sector in the UK as well as a whole. Um, so that's me done. I'm receiving emails as we speak, I'm sure. Um, but I'm very willing to talk to anybody. Right. Any, any quick questions? Um, okay. Can you just clarify, what's the relationship between the work you're doing with Conquer and Digital Fiction Factory, Fiction Factory, which they're running? Well, they're, they're a sort of intermediary, they're the, an intermediary broker in Fiction Factory, so that, that's the work I'm talking about. So. Right. Right, I think what I heard, subtext, is you have got some investment funds. Yes, yeah, we have. And yeah. so, open for business, I think. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's one of the reasons for it. Yeah. yeah, so as I said. Sorry, well, I'm curious about the relationship between content funding and uh, infrastructure uh, funding. I mean, and the relationship between the BFI and funding film production in the UK going mm. forward, as far as I understand it, and Creative England. Whether Creative England is, is just interested in facilitating um, new ways of disseminating content and not interested in funding film content, or whether you are getting involved in that. We are. I mean, in terms of the, my brief, it, it's looking at more the cross-platform world, so it's looking at the complementary development alongside film as well. So it's not pure film, it's not short film, it's not that kind of thing. But we do have a team within Creative England who carry that work on on behalf of the BFI at the moment as well. But in my, in, in my brief is really to, purely to look at cross-platform. So I'm looking at different market opportunities, which film is one, but equally, you know, government services, healthcare is another as well. So that's how will you measure success, can I ask? Well, the government funding we've got, we were lucky enough to receive last year, comes with you know, output targets, if you like, as you imagine government funding would. But the basic model is going to be our return, because we're investing you know, for a whole raft of different models in all of these different ventures. So we'll be generating a return, a financial return to us, which will allow us to reinvest in future years as well. So we'll, we will live or die by the strength of those investments, decisions that are made. So we're going to probably end up with an investment portfolio in, in, in some shape or form, probably about two or three hundred companies, small businesses across England as a whole. And we'll, we'll live or die on those. We're not, we're not expecting to go cap in hand to government every year or so for, for grant funding. Thank you very much.
Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Pleasure.